Hi class. So we now have the data, um, the class data in the working data format where all of the units have been converted um, as you see here. The next step is to sort these data by sex. Sex is one of the groups that we're interested in exploring with these data to see certain patterns. So what I'm going to do is select the columns. So just mousing over, selecting A through G. Um, right click, copy. Then I'm going to bring this over to the sort by sex tab and paste it in. So I'm doing a control V. These are all values that we've put in here. And as you can see, they copy over. One uh, nice thing you can do with Excel too is to click on the top of a column and you'll see some summary statistics over here on the side. So for example, the, um, the count is 143, tells you the count, the minimum, the maximum, the sum of all the values. And you, so this is, uh, uh, you can adjust which uh, summary values are shown here, but it's a good way to quickly check that the data are what you think they are. At least the number of rows is 143, for example. So the next step is to sort. So I'm gonna select those columns, because you can see males and females are in the same places here. So they're not, they're not separate. So I'm going to select this column and then go here to data and then there's a sort tab. So sort, it brings up this box that lets me put in my rules. So I do want to sort by sex and I want to sort in the order A to Z. So females will be first followed by males. Um, so and uh, because I selected all of those, those um, columns, it's going to sort those all together. If I were to just select the sex column and sort that, it would sort sex independently of the ID number and the data for that person, which is not what you want. You want to be sorting all of these things so that, you know, a person's data doesn't get mixed up. All right, so sort by sex, and there we go. So we have females at the, first, at the beginning and then males. So we can see that the first 85 values, so from row two to row 86 are females, and then starting at row 87 down through row 143 are males. So we'll need those two numbers to come up here and adjust the formulae that we have. So we have here the age, it had gone from row two to row 55. We want to change that and make that 86. Okay, hit enter. So now it's calculating the female age correctly. So the average age from row two to row uh, 68, age is column C. We'll do the same here for the standard deviation. So 86, enter. Same thing for the male age. This is 143, so row 87 to 143. And the standard deviation on age, 143 and uh, 87, all right. A difference yeah okay good so these are all uh, this t-test the t-test needs to be fixed as well so it's uh, C 86 and then 87 to 143 all right so those are um, those are all good, and uh, just like we did earlier, we can copy the formulae over. So the columns you see here are age, height, weight, foot size, and BMI. Um, we set the up these summary analyses in the same way: age, height, weight, foot size, and BMI. So given this, we have the correct formulae here in column I, and you can see column D is incorrect. So what we'll do is we'll select these two rows and just drag them over. 
and that has now fixed these formulae. So now they're pointing to the correct wells, uh, cells. Same thing here. Grab these ones, pull them over. These are now giving our class values. Ah, and this one, that one, and pull it over to get the correct t-test. All right. So um, we see similar patterns. Height is very different. Um, foot size is very different. Um, weight is very different between the sexes. Um, really, everything except BMI has a statistically significant difference. Um, age as well, which is a little bit surprising. Um, anyway, this is how you sort by sex and uh, adjust your summary statistics so that they're summarizing the new data that you've plugged into the sheet. Um, thanks a lot.